Well, hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Old Head Reacts. I'm back with another song that I give a shit about, that I want to react to. So um, let's just fucking jump right into it. Uh, this uh, week, we're going to be reacting to the new song from the supergroup, Killer Be Killed. And when I say supergroup, I... I mean, and to me, it's pretty goddamn super. Uh, first off, this group is made up of Greg Pucciato, Pucciato, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but he is the dude who was the front man for the Dillinger escape plan for most of their career. Um, also, you have Max Cavalera from Soulfly and Sepultura um, in this group. I mean, that's already a pretty good start there. And then you add in Troy fucking Sanders, from Mastodon, the bassist and one of the vocalists from Mastodon, one of my favorite bands. And for this particular album, the drummer is none other than Ben Kohler from fucking Converge. So that's pretty goddamn exciting. So uh, Killer Be Killed, this is their second album that's coming out. It's coming out in November, on November 20th, and it's called Reluctant Hero. Now they had a previous album in 2014, which was a self-titled album, and to be fair, I thought it was pretty good. Like, the, the caliber of the people coming together to make the album, I expected it to be better, but I did enjoy it. So, um, this is one of those things where it could go either way for me. I don't really know. I like these guys, and I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for them. You know, I really want this to fucking rule, so I hope that it does. The uh, song is called Deconstructing Self-Destruction. That's, that's kind of a mouthful. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Kill or Be Killed, brand new fucking track. I think this just dropped last week. Um, but yes, no November uh, 20th is the album. So let's see if we're actually going to be excited for this album or not. Let's do it. Contemplate self-destruction. blown away by this but this is really good and the thing that I enjoy I, I guess it's just when you like the people that are in the band you enjoy hearing because it's you know this part right here is Troy Sanders doing the vocals and then it went into uh, Greg from Dillinger uh, doing the vocals and then on the chorus you had Max come in and it's I don't know it's just fun to hear these dudes um, come in on this this track which is um, it's uh, it's it's kind of like what they did on the first album where um, there's a there's a modern heavy metal, you know, element to it. It's it's and it's a lot of chugging, um, but then there's a, a melodic chorus. Like it, it seemed like the, a lot of their stuff kind of went that way. Um, which is which is totally fine. I mean, uh, um, it wasn't the best thing <laughs> I've ever heard, but um also I've only heard 
um, that particular chorus once. Let's see what happens on the, the next time around. All right, so I'm gonna interrupt um, the, <laughs> the guitar solo. Um, so um, it's, so nothing here <laughs> is breaking any new ground at all, but um, I don't really think that's the point. Um, it's, it, it almost feels like these guys just sort of came together and had a mission to sort of make this uh, um, melodic, heavy music and um it's almost like a convergence of all of their uh all, like the bands that they were in i guess you don't hear a lot of dillinger um in that but um i hear a little bit of like a soul fly kind of thing and then um i guess it's mostly just the vocals for troy with mastodon i i don't know i i'm trying to pull apart the things that i like about this because uh there's no real interesting riffs in here it's uh, it's pretty kind of okay, you know. I, I like it, but it, it's it, I, I feel like I've heard some of it before, um, especially going into the choruses. Um, reminds me of bands like uh, Every Time I Die, like that kind of thing, um, which they're that's that's a great band. So I mean, it's not a bad thing, but I feel um, like you bring together, and this is my gripe about the first Killer Be Killed album. Uh, you bring together these really strong personalities from these different bands and you kind of expect it to be a little more um surprising you 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 kind of you kind of want to be blown away by it but i feel like maybe if you're waiting for that you're kind of doing this music a disservice cuz it seems a lot more just like go with it just fucking go with it and at least i feel like that's what they mean Let's let's jump back into the guitar solo.
I, uh, th that ending was pretty cool. Um, the vocal things were really interesting. It, it had almost like a, a, a the more recent Alice in Chains kind of sound, to, vocally anyway. Um, so this is not bad at all. Um, I, I, I enjoyed this song and I'll probably enjoy the album. Um, but there, there's... I got to admit, like when when there's something that I'm interested in that's coming out or I'm looking forward to in in whatever way, uh, there are are two reactions that I'll have that are both positive. The first reaction is, oh, this is, this is pretty good. I think I want to hear the rest of this album when it comes out. And then the other one is, holy fuck, where's the link to buy the vinyl right fucking now? And this one had the latter or former, former of that. Um, I'm not rushing out to get this album, which is unfortunate, especially, you know, with the people involved. Um, yeah, so I mean, at the end of the day, I wish I had more to say about this song, but I think the truth comes out in the fact that there's not a lot to say. It's, it's good. These are very talented people, all four of them, some more than others. <laughs> I'm not naming names. But I'm just saying that, you know, it, it's perfectly well done. And um, it feels like something that maybe the more I hear it, it it'll grow and, and I'll take more out of it. And, and maybe it's just a, 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 a catchiness thing. You know how sometimes you're really brought in by, uh, you, you know, guitar, guitar, the guitar work or, or uh, maybe it's something just vocally that you think is interesting, but sometimes it's just the culmination of everything that once it's been in your head for a little bit, it starts to to do something in your brain, you know, and it becomes an earworm or whatever the fuck, it, you know, you call those. So this has the possibility of being that. So uh, unfortunately, it's not like a right out of the gate banger to me, but it was cool. I like hearing these guys do shit, and I will uh, listen to this album when it comes out. I may even do a review of the album. I don't know. It just depends on if I have anything interesting to say. Because if it's an entire album of me going, yeah, it was all right. Was, you know, I, I like things about it. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste your fucking time. So, um, but yeah. So there you go. The new Killer Be Killed song. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, and say it just because I have to. One of the worst band names ever. <laughs> It's, 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 uh, but, it, but really, if you're looking at it and, and if they meant it to just be sort of silly in a way, I guess maybe it goes with the music where they're not overthinking things. And, and maybe that's the problem. Maybe, maybe what I'm doing is not what you're supposed to be doing. Don't overthink Killer Be Killed and don't overthink this song. So, um, with that being said, uh, put your thoughts down below. What do you think of this song? Um, do you agree? Disagree? Uh, did you like that last album? I mean, just, you know, let's keep the conversation going. Um, once again, you can feel free to suggest songs, but at this point I am reacting to shit that I give a shit about. Um, but hey, it's not always positive. You know, you if you watched the last one I did, that Carcass song, it was just me gushing all over that song for 10 minutes. But this one is more of a, I gotta be honest, you know, about this shit. So, all right, enough of my rambling. Thank you very much. Woo, I don't know what happened in my mouth right there. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me uh, for this reaction. As soon as another uh, new track that I'm interested in comes out, I'll hold on to that shit and I will react to it just for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.